Hi, good morning. So today I am actually going to be prepping the trailer for the health department tomorrow. We have our health inspection. As you saw by now, when you're seeing this video, you saw our L and I inspection didn't go that well and we had to make some changes, been working on that the past week or so. For a health department, essentially they want to know that everything's clean and that you're not gonna get anyone sick. So our milk is the biggest concern from them. They wanna make sure our fridges are the right temperature that our bleach levels are the right level, so that we're not putting too much bleach in there because that can make people sick, stuff like that. And then I just am gonna do like a big clean of the trailer because we've had people working on it and the electrician and um, other work that's been done on it. So there's kind of a lot of dust everywhere even though I've cleaned it before. So I need to clean up all the dust today, buy some more products, buy a few more things that I need to put in the trailer by tomorrow that they require. And so I'm gonna go run to the store to do that. I have a couple calls scheduled today, uh, an appointment today, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be like going to the store, getting a bunch of stuff, and then um, coming back and cleaning the trailer, which I'll show you guys all of that. We have to be there at like 6.45 in the morning because they do the inspection at 7.15, but we have um, three hot water sources and they all take a little bit to heat up, so we wanna get there a little bit early. It's gonna be an early morning. My dad's gonna come with me just to kinda of help make sure everything goes well. Yeah, I'm excited. My camera's gonna die though, so I'm gonna leave this here and charge it, and then when I get back from the store, then I'll show you guys the rest of my day. I just got home and got everything thrown into the trailer, not organized or anything, but I got a bunch of stuff, so I'm feeling a lot more prepared now than I was an hour ago. Um, so I just kinda threw it in the trailer, and my friend will be coming over later just to kinda hang out with me and keep me company. Then I'm gonna go clean the trailer, but right now I have a call, so I'm gonna do that first. Shouldn't have known if I was the one who's drowning, drowning in your flood, it's so Just finished the call and now I'm gonna go outside to work on the trailer for a little bit. It's a nice day, thank God it's not raining or anything. It's a little chilly or it was like an hour ago, so hopefully it's not too bad now. Um, I'm gonna go outside, hook up the generator and get working inside and see when my friend comes. All right, we got quite a bit to organize today. Yep, gotta get all this put away and, and it's home. to put this and I was like I have no idea there's nowhere else like nowhere it can be except right here on the door and if you turn it a little bit when you put it in it actually stays pretty much out of the way of the door and also of this door so you just pop it in it stays it's pretty secure
people. Um, testing out this area, trying to see if, since we're a little bit higher up, if people can actually reach this cash door. Um, and the POS system, it swivels around. And from that perspective, people can basically reach if they like put their arm all the way out, they can just sign. Um, Cause they just kind of have to scribble on here anyway. And then we just switch it back around and there you go. Perfect. Planning to keep the cups right here unless the health department says otherwise. Um, so we'll have the iced and then hots. Hots haven't gotten here yet, um, but that's where we'll keep those. And then go over here and make the drinks. And then when we pass it out, I'll have the lids over here on this section. Um, so we have flat lids, dome lids, and then we'll have hot lids um, over here. And then some chocolate covered espresso beans. Um, a little grabber to grab those because we can't touch them. Um, straws. And we do also have compostable straws too. Um, these are a little bit taller, I think, actually. These are regular plastic straws, so um, probably won't use those unless they're just backup, but we have the compostable ones that are down here that I'll actually put in there instead. Um, and then this is the handoff station. I'll probably put the drink right here for them to take um, or somehow move this over and then put it right here or reach down and put it right there. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out, but pretty excited about this little setup. So cute, you wanna see the front?
to summer runs with my mom and try to go get some new boards for us when we put our jack down in the front of the trailer. Um, both Lowe's and Home Depot saws were broken. So couldn't do that. The ones we have work, they're just kind of small, so we're trying to find bigger ones. I was also trying to find a foot for the jack. Um, they didn't have any in stock, so I just have to order some. Now I'm just back, went and got some milk and everything so I can sample some drinks and really nail down my recipes. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm washing some towels now, which is also a habit I have to get into, um, throwing them in the dryer, and then we will be going out to the trailer. Oh crap, I went out there to go get my phone charger too because my phone is dying and I forgot. So I need to go back and get my phone charger. But um, none of my hot cups came in yet. So I guess we're just gonna be making ice drinks today, which is fine because I love ice drinks. Let's make some whipped cream first and then I will go get to my phone charger. I just told Garrett too, I was like, I'm gonna make a lot of drinks right now. So if you want one, you're gonna have to come home. I wish all of you could just come have these with me because Nobody's home and I don't know what to do. figured out the recipes really quickly we might still adjust them as we go just if customers like want them changed if they're too sweet or if they're not sweet enough stuff like that I think I made 15 drinks which isn't too bad because I most of them were pretty good right away 
and then a couple of them I was like mm. so I made a few versions of them because I was just trying to figure it out the inspection today basically went pretty well he loved the trailer the guy I've been in contact with for like years is the guy that inspected it he likes the trailer and just doing his job basically he can't pass the trailer until Elle and I passes the trailer so we have to send him a copy of that picture of when we get that I feel bad just throwing out all these things but Two of my friends were supposed to come over today and they didn't. And I don't want to drink these because I won't go to sleep. So I wish you guys were here to drink them. I'll drink the matcha because it doesn't have coffee in it, but yum. And he mostly needed updated uh, paperwork because I moved, I got married, my name's different, all that kind of stuff. And also since I moved, I have to send in like this detailed operation procedure basically because i'm commissary exempt which is not normal i'm the first person in thurston county to do that essentially that means you're supposed to go somewhere to have a servicing area to prep your food and whatnot i'm not carrying any food and if i carry any food it's just going to be pre-packaged and nothing i have to prep or anything so i was trying to be low risk and low maintenance i basically had to write him a letter explaining everything i would do to get ready for an event and why i didn't need a commissary he did let me be exempt from it. I just have to be really detailed because in the future, obviously, if anyone else asks about that, then he has to be able to explain why it's different and blah, blah, blah. All the technical stuff. Super easy though. I've already written him that before, but because I moved, my procedures look different than they would if I was living back at my parents. Uh, the plumbing is supposed to be starting work tomorrow. At least we're bringing the trailer to the guy's shop tomorrow. So we basically have to get a plumber to readjust some stuff in here, which is kind of annoying but it is what it is we can't get around it and I don't know how long it's gonna take him to work on it it seems like a lot to me but I'm also not a plumber so I don't know it might not be a big deal Just figured out drink recipes I'm gonna make a training folder actually probably when I'm done cleaning up here I'm gonna go upstairs and make like a I have a training folder already for here but I want to put like all the ingredients and stuff on one list so that um, like to me I have them all memorized I know what I put in every drink but for training purposes. I want to be able to show people. While the trailer is being worked on the plumber, I'm going to go through our POS system, the square system we got, the iPad and everything. Pricey to buy, but it's amazing and it's so user friendly. So it's been super easy to set up. I just have to fine tune the prices and all of that. And then I actually need to go set up um, an account for cellular because I can run off my phone, but by chance I'm somewhere where my phone connection is not very good for hotspot or something. I don't want to rely on hotspots. I'm going to set up cellular on the iPad so we can operate anywhere. So that was pretty good news from the health department. He thought everything was clean. He said it looks good. We're the first trailer in Thurston County that was renovated out of a camper trailer and that has a keg and that has an ice bin and that has this hot water tower. Just like we have a lot of commercial stuff in here which is kind of why a lot of it was a big deal because we're not just like a shaved ice thing and we don't just have an oven to cook or I don't know we kind of have a lot of equipment in here and so water coming from a bunch of different systems there's it's simple but like kind of complicated and it makes sense why it's been such a difficult process for me I thought I just couldn't catch a break but if I'm bringing a new idea to a county and they haven't approved something like this yet um, that's why they think this is so unusual even though these I these things exist all over like but specifically where I live we don't have one. All the people that were inspecting were kind of baffled. And we're figuring it out. Starting a business is not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> that was a lot. I just talked for a very long time, but I was trying to give you guys all the updates because I've been I've been on the vlogging game because I don't want to forget like this season of business. Just including you guys has been really fun. I know a lot of you are interested in doing the same thing or something similar. Thanks for watching.